<laughs> Everybody knows that humans have trichromatic color vision, which means that we see within three color spectrums. Red, green, blue. Scientists from Johns Hopkins University are growing retinal tissue from scratch in order to understand why we can see in color and to possibly develop therapies to help people who can't see in color. You know what they did? I talked to the researcher there. They grew little retinas in a dish from human stem cells. Kara Eldridge is the scientist I spoke with, and every day she would come in and tend to these little stem cells and encourage them and direct them to become retinal tissue. Primates, including us, can see in these three color spectrums. Red, green, blue. And what they learned by watching little retinas grow in a dish is that it's a three-part process, right? The blue cells come in first, and then the red and green. And they're like, wow, this seems timed. There's a purpose to all this. What, what underlies the timing? And it turns out- Intelligent design. No, oh, um, it's, it's the thyroid hormone. What? There was really... no thyroid in that dish. Yeah, and that's the really cool part that they're still kind of figuring out is like you don't need the thyroid gland in the dish that the cells as they started growing knew that this was your, their job and the thyroid hormone just kicked in anyway so when they used CRISPR to knock out that the blue cells came but not the red and green when they inserted the hormone the red and the green emerged oh good but not all animals can see like we can don't tell me that I've been it's making true. fun of all these other animals and now I'm gonna feel bad about it well some of them can see in ultraviolet and we can't so maybe that's arguably cooler there's more good news Get the f well the purpose out. of science is to explore learn and to help people right the idea right is that by knowing how to control these cells and knowing how to grow tissue out of a dish we can eventually come up with therapies that actually can help those people you're telling me that someone who's colorblind now might not be colorblind in the future because of this sort of gene therapy I think that's the idea. That's what they hope so. And scientists behind this study hope that other researchers read it, feel inspired, and come up with their own experiments in order to figure out that feature. 